Okay, so today we're going to look at a dissection of a pepper. I'm going to take just some, some normal um, red pepper uh, and I'm just going to cut a little section out of my pepper uh, that might enable me to show you a few different types of cell that there are presently in the pepper. I'm just trying to lever out this little square of pepper. Uh, so hopefully if you've looked at pepper before and, and hopefully if you've got access to a pepper at home you'll be able to have a go a little bit at something like this. Uh, the upside of course is that you can then cook all of the rest of this pepper. Um, but this little cell that we're going to use for a dissection so I would advise you probably not to eat that. Uh, I'm going to use a little hand lens and so if you can get access to one of these uh, that's also going to be quite um, beneficial for you to do one part of this and if you happen to have access to a microscope that's even better. Um, so I'm just going to use this scalpel uh, to just press down on the side of uh, my bits of pepper here okay and um, you can also do that with your sort of finger and you can feel that that inner layer um, there's just a small amount of water in some of those cells. Okay, so if you're following along on the worksheet, you'll see them referred to as um, endocarp cells. Sorry, these are the giant cells, um, but there are endocarp cells um, covering the uh, large water filled ones underneath. So, following the instructions, I've used a cutting tile, I've used a scalpel, I've cut out a piece of bell pepper, approximately two uh, centimetres squared. I'm now going to use a hand lens um, to uh, examine the inner surface of the pepper. So if I try and do this over here so that you can vaguely see, um, hopefully you can therefore see there are some fairly large cells here and I'll see if I can um, cut in some pictures of some of these. But that's what uh, we're looking at here. These large giant cells. There we go. So there's some nice giant cells there um, for you to see. Uh, that's one of the um, pictures that you're going to need to draw um, in your results section. The drawing of the giant cells. If you look really, really carefully here, you might be able to see some of those endocarp cells. If I um, bring it right up to the camera and my camera actually will focus, you might well be able to see um, that on top of those cells, there are some smaller cells. And those cells are the endocarp cells. What I'm going to try to do, okay, and this is the really difficult bit, okay, is to cut a thin section of the uh, pericarp, which is the, um, the layer there. I'm going to see if I can cut a really, really thin section and mount it on a microscope slide, okay. So you've got to be really, really careful not to cut yourself here, okay, and I'm going to have to do it right up close to the camera so that you can see. Uh, but what I'm going to try to do is just to cut a small layer there, so that's about all I'm taking, and, and to be honest you probably could go thinner than that uh, if you have got the skills to do that. Um, cut a really thin bit, now you won't need very much at all, um, and you've got to be really really careful when you're using a knife, um, definitely one to get someone at home to uh, supervise you, um, but I've cut a really really thin slice of this here and it's in fact actually probably a bit thicker than I would like um, but a really really thin slice here and now I'm going to make that up under a microscope slide. So I struggled to find the microscope slide that I put out. So I've got a microscope slide here, quite difficult to see on the film because it's obviously transparent and a um, cover slit. Um, again, you're probably not going to be able to do this because you're not going to have these things at home, um, but it's worth knowing how to do it. So I'm going to place my piece of microscope, uh, place my piece of pepper onto my microscope slide. 
Now it says uh, to add a drop of water, um, so I can quickly do that. Then I'm going to place the uh, cover slip, which is an, a really thin sheet of glass, down on top of my bit of pepper, um, which hopefully I can now show you under here. So there's my cover slip on there. Uh, quite a difficult thing to achieve uh, and make uh, work well, but there we go. Uh, quite a out of focus picture of a cover slip. Um, on a bit of pepper. Um, really difficult to get that under the camera. Okay, so um, I've now set up my microscope. I've got my microscope slide and I place it on here um, like that. Uh, this uh, area here is called the stage and I'm going to move the stage right the way to the top uh, and then I'm going to have a quick look uh, down the microscope slide to see if I can um, get a decent picture of my um, cells. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to need to uh, slowly move the stage away from myself by using this larger uh, knob. And I'm going to turn that until it comes into focus. Once I manage to do that, I can switch to the second uh, of these rotating lenses, which is more powerful. And that's going to give me a, um, uh, a photo or a, a um, picture through the, through the microscope that's even more detailed uh, and uh, with a greater magnification. And so that is a bell pepper dissection. So this is the microscope slides um, of the uh, pepper. There are two pictures, but they're essentially showing the same thing. Um, you'll need to get a uh, copy of these pictures in your worksheet under the section where we're looking at the microscope.